learning outcomes after studying this module you will be able to number 1 know about statistical hypothesis number 2 understand t test for dependent and independent means and number 3 understand wilkinson rank sum test introduction statistical hypotheses are always in pairs of opposing or contradictory hypotheses one is called the null hypothesis and the other is called the alternative hypothesis hypothesis to be tested is known as null hypothesis it is a hypothesis of no change or no improvement or no difference it is a claim about the value of a parametric or the value of several parameters or even about the shape of its population the null hypothesis is tested against the alternative hypothesis which offers alternative values of the parameter a random sample is drawn from the population of interest and the sample data is examined to see whether the evidence is strong enough to enable us to reject the null hypothesis in favor of the alternative if the sample evidence does not strongly support the alternative we cannot reject the null hypothesis this does not mean we accept the null hypothesis the null hypothesis continues to be plausible if not rejected at the same time rejecting the null hypothesis does not prove that it is false the approach to hypothesis testing is similar to the one used in the justice system an accused is considered not guilty until strong evidence beyond reasonable doubt can be produced to convict the person of the crime he is accused of committing the verdict is guilty or not guilty but never innocent the null hypothesis is analogous to the defendant just as the accused is assumed innocent until proven guilty the null hypothesis is not rejected until sample data is overwhelmingly in favor of the alternative hypothesis like the defendant in a criminal case we give the benefit of doubt to the null hypothesis now let us discuss some two sample parametric tests first t test for dependent means to differentiate between population in case of linked or dependent data t test for the dependent means is used for example to assess that taking surprise tests improves knowledge of students to assess this we need to know the knowledge of student before and after the test thus any data collected from this student is linked this test is used only for sample means mean difference between score is calculated by m1 minus m2 this suggests that the student selected come from a population in which test does not improve knowledge that is mu1 minus mu2 equals to 0 or they are from a population which is different in which test improves the knowledge depending upon the type of hypothesis that is directional or non directional following forms of hypothesis can be used in the equations mu1 refers to the pre test or time 1 population from which the study sample was drawn and mu is post test or time 2 population so null hypothesis can be mu1 minus mu2 equals to 0 alternative hypothesis can be mu1 minus mu2 is not equal to 0 or null hypothesis being mu1 minus mu2 is less than equal to 0 and alternate hypothesis being mu1 minus mu2 is greater than 0 or null hypothesis can be mu1 minus mu2 is greater than equal to 0 and alternate hypothesis can be mu1 minus mu2 is less than 0 this type of test needs a specific type of research design in this collection of two different times on a single sample is done from the population or two different people are sampled as a pair because of presence of linkage between in some fashion in a population in this test one group of students are paired subjects are selected data is collected on these subjects 
twice from which the difference between pairs or pre-test and post-test score is computed and then finally average sample difference m diff is compared to the population parameter mu diff this population parameter helps us decide what to presume if there was no variance in the population in case the sample statistics is very different then we can conclude that our sample belongs to a population in which paired members were different or time 1 and time 2 scores were different comparison of mean difference m1 minus m2 calculated on linked or dependent data is done with an expectation that there is no difference in the population that is mu1 minus mu2 equals to 0 the mean difference between sample score that are linked by the study design is compared to an expectation about the difference in the population knowledge of population parameters is not necessary for this test till the null hypothesis does not shows difference in the population then the value of mu1 minus mu2 needed for the statistical hypothesis is known zero estimation of population variances is done from the sample data in t tests testing of hypothesis can be done by meeting the given set of conventions the conventions for this tests are random sampling from a defined population interval or ratio scale of measurement and population difference scores that is mu1 minus mu2 are normally distributed since random sampling is based on probability it is required for all statistical inference the psychologist may use t test for dependent means on approximately interval scales even though the tests require interval or ratio data central limit theorem helps us to comprehend that even if the population distribution is unknown the sampling distribution of the mean will be roughly normally distributed in case sample size is large next we move on to t test for independent means to determine the difference between populations t test for independent means is used for example to know if boys and girls of a school differ on some psychological characteristic or not assessment of information from a separate group of men and women is required if there is no overlap between groups then the means are considered independent like a person cannot be boy and girl at the same time this test is used only for tests of sample means our hypothesis tests whether the average difference between scores m1 minus m2 suggests that our students come from a population where there is no difference between boys and girls that is mu1 minus mu2 equals to 0 or whether they come from different populations depending on the type of research that is directional or non directional the statistical hypothesis can take following forms which are similar to statistical hypothesis used for t test for dependent means that is null hypothesis being mu1 minus mu2 equals to 0 or alternate hypothesis being mu1 minus mu2 is not equal to 0 or null hypothesis can be mu1 minus mu2 is less than equal to 0 and alternate hypothesis being mu1 minus mu2 is greater than 0 or null hypothesis can be mu1 minus mu2 is greater than equal to 0 and alternate hypothesis can be mu1 minus mu2 is less than 0 for this test it is required that there is no overlap between the two groups in a research design that is why the term independent means is used in this research design data can be collected from two separate samples while studying two groups the test for independent means is used for analysis of more than two groups diverse test is used observed difference between the two sample means that is m1 minus m2 is compared with expectation that there is no difference in the population that is mu1 minus mu2 equals to 0 comparison between two independent sample means to an expectation about the difference in the population is done using t test for independent means 
knowledge of population parameters is not required for this test as long as the null hypothesis shows no difference in the population then the value of mu1 minus mu2 needed for our statistical hypothesis is known that is zero estimation of population variances is done from the sample data in t tests in this test the set of assumptions used are random sampling from a defined population interval or ratio scale of measurement scores in the population are normally distributed and the population variances are equal since random sampling is based on probability it is required for all statistical inference it is difficult to find random samples the psychologist may use t test for independent means on approximately interval scales even though the test require interval or ratio data central limit theorem helps us to understand that even if the population distribution is unknown the sampling distribution of the mean will be approximately normally distributed in case sample size is large the shape of the sampling distribution of the mean is a function of the variance or standard deviation in the population and the size of the sample drawn from the population if the populations have different variances then we do not know about the shape of the sampling distribution of the difference this is a serious issue for statistic while conducting a one tailed test the data is highly skewed and the variances are unequal we should consider a different test coming to two sample non parametric tests first wilcoxon rank sum test Wilcoxon rank sum test is known as Mann Whitney U test Mann Whitney Wilcoxon or Wick Wilcoxon Mann Whitney test it is a non parametric test of the null hypothesis that two samples come from the same population against an alternative hypothesis especially that a particular population tends to have larger values than the other in contrast to the t test it does not require the assumption of normal distributions it is nearly as efficient as the t test on normal distribution man whitney developed the mww test under the assumption of continuous responses with the alternative hypothesis being that one distribution is stochastically greater than the other there are many other ways to formulate the null and alternative hypothesis such that the mww test will give a valid test general conventions to be used are that all the interpretations from both groups are independent of each other the responses are ordinal and under the null hypothesis h not the probability of an observation from the population x exceeding an observation from the second population y equals the probability of an observation from y exceeding an observation and alternative hypothesis h1 is the probability of an observation from the population x exceeding an observation from the second population y is different from the probability of an observation from y exceeding an observation this test is not like as well coxon signed rank test in spite of the fact that they are both non parametric and involve summation of ranks this test is used for independent samples whereas well coxon signed rank test is used for matched or dependent samples for example an educational psychologist feels that men are better at abstract reasoning than women To test this hypothesis he collected the following percentile scores of 6 women and 7 men the data is as given solution null hypothesis equals to men are no better than women and alternate hypothesis being men are better than women the ranks assigned to the data are given in the table the sum of the ranks in the first group women is 8 plus 9 plus 13 plus 1 plus 3 plus 6 equals to 50 so s equals to 50 with n equals to 6 the value for u the test statistic is u equals to s minus n multiplied by n plus 1 the whole divided by 2 which is equal to 50 minus 
6 into 7 by 2 which is equals to 50 minus 21 that is 29. If alpha is 5% or 0 0.05 then we look up in table H for U alpha and compute U1 minus alpha because the alternate hypothesis indicate it is one tailed that is directional test. U alpha is equals to 9 and U1 minus alpha equals to 6 into 7 minus 9 that is 42 minus 9 which is 33. Decision rule. Reject null hypothesis if U is less than 9 or U is greater than 33. Otherwise do not reject null hypothesis. Since U equals to 29 and U is greater than 9 and U is less than 33, do not reject null hypothesis. Conclusion there is insufficient evidence that men are better than women at abstract reasoning. Applications in Forensic Science In Forensic Science, especially for caseworks, hypothesis testing is mainly used for glass evidence. They are regularly used to estimate a match between refractive index values of glass fragments recovered as evidence and an assumed source. The fundamental of hypothesis testing is to evaluate if RI properties are different or cannot be differentiated. Hypothesis testing is preferred in research rather than in casework. It has role in psychology as well. Sometimes it is required to take appropriate decisions which ensures the likelihood or probability that success is integrated into decision making process. Such decisions are termed as rational decisions. For example, if a person went to a park for jogging and felt great, naturally the person will ask himself that, does jogging make people happy? For answering a question which lacks an answer, then research is necessary to resolve it. Statistical hypothesis is one such technique used to answer such research questions. Summary Statistical hypotheses are always in pairs of opposing or contradicting hypotheses. The hypothesis to be tested is known as null hypothesis. The differentiate between population in case or linked or dependent data, t test for dependent mean is used. To determine the difference between population's t test for independent sample is used. Comparison between two independent sample means 2n expectation about the difference in the population is done using t test for independent means. Central limit theorem helps us to understand that even if the population distribution is unknown, the sampling distribution of the mean will be approximately normally distributed in case sample size is large. Wilkinson rank some test is a non-parametric test of the null hypothesis that two samples come from the same population against an alternative hypothesis especially that a particular population tends to have larger values than the other.